Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So today we're talking butter. Our kids love it. We wanted to show them where butter comes from, how it's made, and we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna show you guys this new little gadget that I picked up, and we're gonna make our very own butter. We're gonna turn it right here in my kitchen, so stay tuned. Okay, so this is the gadget that I picked up online, and I'm gonna tag um, the link to, if you wanna purchase your very own butter churner. So this is made by a brand called Kilner, and it was designed just like the old-fashioned butter churner. Butter is essentially made by taking fresh cream and separating the butter fat from the butter milk. You have to make sure that your cream is at room temperature before you start this process. So I've left this out for about two hours. It actually helps the butter separate from the butter milk a lot quicker if it's at room temp. So this is standard whipping cream. You're going to remove the lid and pour in your cream. Put your lid back on. You're just going to turn the handle to start the churning process. After just a few minutes, you'll start to see that your cream is becoming frothy. After five to six minutes, you'll see that the cream will start to thicken up. This is about eight to 10 minutes, and if you can see, it's literally at the stage where it's pretty much a whipped cream. Then at about 10 to 12 minutes, you start to realize that your the handle becomes a little bit harder to crank. There we go. Now you can start to see that the butter fat is starting to separate from the buttermilk. Almost there. This part happened really, really fast. So now it's getting quite difficult to crank the handle. Yeah, there you have it. You pretty much have your butter solids there and the butter milk is dripping off the butter fat. I'm gonna just do it a little bit more and then I'm gonna show you guys how to rinse your butter. Okay, so I've set up a ice water bath and you want to use very cold water because if you use anything that's room temp or slightly warm, it'll melt your butter and turn it into a liquid. And you don't want that because then you're gonna lose all your precious butter inside the water. So this will just wash off any remaining buttermilk. So this is what it looks like when it comes out of the butter churner. So there you have it. We have about one cup of freshly churned butter. You want to keep it refrigerated and you also want to keep it um, covered. And it'll last you about two weeks. And one cup of buttermilk. So you can use this buttermilk in any recipe you wish that calls for buttermilk. Just want to taste it. Mm. So fresh, so good. And the great thing about this butter is you can make it pretty much any flavor you want, making herb butters, uh, sweet butters, maple butters, and you can use it as a spread on breads. You can also use your freshly turned butter when you're making, uh, when you're baking. So that's another use for it. So I think this would be a great way to give your children an appreciation for butter. And it's a fun little sciencey experiment. Thanks guys for joining me again. I'm gonna be doing a recipe on my blog very soon where I'm gonna be using the buttermilk and the fresh churned butter. So stay tuned for that. My website is dailytidamisu.com. I'll link it below. Thanks again and I'll see you again soon.